Hello, Chi. Hello. Are you having a good summer holiday? Yes. Mm. Why is only me here? Only you this term. Just one. What? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody what? thought we started, I guess. I don't know why you're doing. Everybody's late. We are interest 30. Wow. What are we here? We're, this is, yeah, interest 31. That's right. Get the right book. Um, <clears throat> now, Kevin is not going to join this term. I don't know what happened. He, uh, he just decided he didn't want to learn English anymore. And uh, I think we only have you, Matt, and Nishka, and I think only three right now, because even the Indonesians, Adam and, uh, Adam and Jill, took this term off too. Chi Sung is, is on the way. Now, uh, Chi Sung should go into interest 20. That's where he belongs. Yeah, but let's see. So, I think it's just you, Matt, and Nishka this term. So, hopefully, we'll get a couple of new students and hopefully they'll come back next term. But yeah, <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Message in a bottle. Oh, yeah, this story. This is a funny story. A funny, 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 funny story. So what have you been doing on your holidays? Um, I study reading comics, then play sports. Nothing else. No, no, that's normal. I mean, as long as you're playing a lot of sports, that's good. Take advantage of the, the, the nice weather and, and all yes. that kind of stuff. But um, reading comics, what comics are you reading? Uh, I read him a lot, and uh, you can cannot remember it. <laughs> you don't remember the titles. I read, I read it online. I read a lot, but I don't. I, I can't remember the name. It's too long. The name, but they're they're in Vietnamese. Kinda. Are they? Uh, are... But they are hard to uh, understand it. What, but are you practicing English or Chinese, or are they all Vietnamese? Um, some, I sometime I, I re- mix some English, some Vietnamese. Yeah, yes. Okay, it's good to get a mix in there, but make sure you get some, make sure you get some. Uh, some practice in the English because that's that's really going to help you long term if you're doing some reading. Earthbase, I need a register. I don't have any register template. The, the class register sheet. So, oh, someone's here. Nishka. On the way. Okay. All right. So we got Nishka now. Oh my God! They're having a party at your house. What's going on at your house, Chi? Are they having a party? It's just my brother screaming. <laughs> All that noise is just your brother. Yes. Holy macaroni! That's unbelievable. And let me tell you. Hello, foreheads. How's India today? Not well. Not well, huh? Why? I'm happened? sick. I'm sick. You're sick? Yes. I don't believe you. I'm actually sick. Uh, so that's why if I'm not feeling well in between, my father told me to tell you and leave. Just in case if I'm not feeling well in between. You're too young to be sick. I don't believe it. I am sick. Fix your camera. All I see is your forehead. Yes, well, I don't want you guys to see my face today. You don't want to see your face. <laughs> All right, foreheads. Hmm. All right. So uh, da, 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 da. Where is Matt? Matt is late again, too. It's been about two weeks since we had a class, right? Well, we, we were off last week, yeah. Just one week we took off. Just the one week. <laughs> Hmm. Is there any word from Matt? Well, we may as well just get started. Matt has been late quite 
a lot recently, so we're going to move on to our first lesson in interest 31. Oh, there's Matt, just as I say. Message in a bottle. So this is going to be about a true story about someone who found a floating bottle and the message in it. So we'll read about that after the break. But it's kind of a tricky story. Mr. Matt, how are you today? I'm good. You're good, huh? Right. Still making you? Yeah, Chi, it's so noisy. You're going to have to stay muted for a while. Yeah. How's your summer holidays, Matt? Are you having fun like Chi? And she's studying classes and she's playing sports and she's partying and oh, it's unbelievable. Dancing every night, playing in a band. They're going to have a concert. Is your summer that exciting? Nope. Nope. So what have you been doing this summer? Just study. Just study? You got a lot of classes this summer? I've, lived, I've been giving exams the past week. You've been giving exams? Who are you giving exams to? My teachers. You're giving exams to your teachers? Yes. About what? <laughs> About how to teach the students properly. How to teach. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Nishka says she thinks she's sick, so she wants to hide her face. I am sick. I do not think I'm sick. I know I'm sick. <laughs> she must be sick. She thinks she's giving her teachers exams on how to teach the students. <laughs> She's definitely sick. Something's wrong. <laughs> well, my teacher gives us exams, and it's so not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. I know. <laughs> um, but are you still on summer holidays in India? No, that ended like in July. Right. So you're back to school now. Yeah, it's been it's been almost two months. It's, well, it's been more than two months. Well, then you went back to school in like June then. Yeah, no. Because yeah, uh, it's, it's been one month. Because this is only the first week of, of, aug August. of August. So it was only last week. It was July. So if you have been back to school for two months, it means I, all the way back. I went June. back to school on the 1st of July. So it's been about a, Over month. a month. Yeah, That's it's right. been about one month and five days. All right, so just over a month. Yeah. Yeah. Indonesia, or Indonesia, they're back to school too, and Vietnam, they're they're still on their summer holidays. But you guys <sighs> go back to school sometime this month, right? The end of the month, you go back to school. The end of this month. The end of this month, you'll go back to school. Okay. Yeah, it's a little different in every country. Are you playing Chisang? Oh my God, Chisang is back again. Watch out, this guy's gonna rip up the vocab challenge. Hello, Trisang. All right, our first one today. Not long ago. We've had this before. Recently. Recently. Four heads is on the board. Dum, 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 dum. They recently became parents. They recently graduated. He recently lost his job. Unbelievable. Hmm. I can't wait to see what all the real statistics are about uh, how many businesses have been lost during COVID and how many people lost their jobs. Because, of course, we're not getting any of that information yet. But we will. I'm sure we will. Okay, so I'll put Trisung here. Right, recently, recent, got to get to that T, 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 recently, Matt. Recently. Chi sang. Recently. Chi. Recently. Recently. Very good. Nishka, recently. Recently. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, audience. 
audience. That's right. Because there's different people at a football game is different. People watching TV is different. Those are going to come up later. But people who are at a live show that can clap and you can hear them and they're actually seeing the people, that's an audience. But there has to be a live group of people in front of you watching a show. Uh, uh, could be a, like a talk show or a game show. That would be audience as well. Matt, audience. Stress is on the oh, awe. Audience. 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 Chi, audience. 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 I'm going to call you foreheads too. <clears throat> what is with you guys? Uh, Nishka, audience. Audience. Yeah, a little less. Three sung, audience. 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 Okay. Yeah. A way to do something. There's often more than one way to do something. But how we do it, right? There's different ways to farm. There's different ways to treat people. There's different ways to run experiments. Different ways to train people. Different ways to educate people. Mode. Mm, what's that, Nishka? Mode. 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 M O D E. Yeah. Um. Mood. Ma. Oh, how do mood? I explain? No, it's not. Mood is O O D. That's like a temperamental thing. Thank you very much. Um, that's temperamental. A mood, right? Good mood, bad mood, happy mood. Um. Mode. Method. method method is the word I'm looking for. Correct. Um, but M M O D. I'm just trying to think of a good example here to give you for um, mood. Mode is how you say that. But mode is. Hmm, I'm not sure how to explain that properly. Hold on here. Mode. Like the game is in a different mode now. Yeah, mode and mood. That that that's yeah. Hold on, I gotta. I'm gonna check it right now because, because because I do want to explain it. That's a word I haven't used in a, quite a long time. <laughs> a game mode. Put it at a high level, low level, medium level. A different character, not a characteristic. A different. Hmm. A different level. Let's see. Let's see what Google says here. The way or manner in which something occurs or is experienced, expressed or done. This preferred mode of travel, his preferred mode of travel was a kayak. So he prefers the kayak instead of a sailboat. So this method, does it come from method? A fashion or style in clothes and literally except in the 70s, the mode for active wear took hold. So people wearing sports clothes. That's not really good definitions. Uh, a way of operating, living or behaving in a certain mode. Each department in the company has its own mode of operation. Railways are an important mode, mode of transportation. Mode. Mode. Switch your phone to silent mode. So it's kind of like a setting, a way of operating. So the different settings you would put on your handphone, it would be a different mode, um, a different, even a different style of living. I like the relax mode, right? Or I like the busy downtown mode. So a, a way of living or even behaving. Yeah. But mood is a mood is a feeling, right? It's, it's a, a state of mind, a way you feel in a particular way, a good mood or a bad mood, mode, mood. Okay. All right. We got that. And this one, yes. Method. A method is another way of doing something. You know, we might have, well, just like how we teach English. Um, there are different methods on how you teach someone English. Method. So that would be that would be Nishka. All right, here we go. 
mo and uh, mo <laughs> method. All right. Now, this is usually about a boat. That's what we usually say when we go on a boat. We don't say a boat ride. We don't say. Expedition. What is it, Matt? Yeah. What? Madness. What? Expedition. Expedition. Well, an expedition is like going on an ex exploration, right? We're going on an expedition to explore the Arctic. A voyage. Yeah, voyage is voyage. the word we're looking for. Um, a long journey, especially on a ship. When we're talking about ships, if you're going to cross an ocean, you're going to go on a, on a voyage, right? If you're in a plane, you're going to say you're on a flight. <clears throat> um, if you're on a car, in a car, you're going to say you're going on a drive or a ride. Um, and then, of course, everything that happens <laughs> from the minute you leave until the minute you get there, that whole process, one week, two weeks, a month, whatever it is, that's the journey, right? That's the part in between from point A to point B. That's on a journey. That's why they call it the journey of life from the time you're born until the time you die. That's your journey, your life's journey. Yeah. Oops. Voyage. Yidge. Voyage. Dzz. We got another orange at the end. Tree sung. Voyage. 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 Matt. Voyage. Voyage. Nishka, voyage. Voyage. Chi? Voyage. Mm. Same as village. Voyage. A voyage to the village. <laughs> now, in this case, it's <laughs> making it look like the woman is the boss, but I don't know who the boss is. But she's got the computer turned to her, so perhaps. <laughs> All right. To refer to something or is it someone? Yeah. To refer to something or someone. So did I mm, that Trisang was going to join the class today? Did I tell you guys? Mention. That mention. Mention. Exactly. Did I say something about that? Did I mention it? Yeah. The word evolution was mentioned on that place card during the protest. So, evolution, I believe, is Italian for evolution. But I'm not sure. Or maybe Spanish. Hard to say. Spanish or Italian. 4 1, Nishka. Do, 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 do. Mention. Nishka, did I forget to mention? Did I forget to mention? Mention, yeah. Chi. Did mention. Matt did Matt mention he was gonna be late? Uh, did Matt mention he's gonna be late? He was going to be he late. He was going to be late. Ah, Chi Sang. Did I not mention you need a new mic? Did I not mention you need need a new mic, a new mic microphone? Did I not mention you need a new microphone? Again? Trisang, Trisang again. Did I not mention you need a new microphone? Do you not? Manson. Did I not mention you need a new microphone? Did I not mention you need a microphone? A new microphone, yeah. Matt, did I mention that Gappy won the vocab challenge? Did I mention that? Did I mention? Did I mention that Gappy yeah, won the vocab championship? Did I mention that Gappy won the vocab? Speaking of Gappy, where is he? They graduated. Oh. They already they finished in Cheers 40. You can watch their yeah, final. Why yeah, yeah. You can watch their final class interest uh, 40 lesson 9 finale with a guest speaker from Australia and one from England. 
who was in Australia or who was in Saudi Arabia actually for the last class. And uh, yeah, Gappy won the the final vocab championship, and they finished the 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 interest programs and got their C1 certificates. And they, uh, but they are still studying with me. The group is doing IELTS with me now on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday night we do IELTS just to keep practice. Now this is about published. Yeah. Publish. It's about, getting it finished, printed, and out for sale. Once it is out to the market to be sold, it has now been published. That's right. To publish a book is the process, the verb, or it has been published. All right, that's what, a, what authors do. They write their books, and then the publisher will edit it and fix things up, and then they will publish the book so that people can buy it. And hopefully they'll have a bestseller and make lots of money. I'm hoping someday in my old age, I will be able to write a book about my life. I hope I should be able to, as long as I can stay healthy. That's the big thing. Stay healthy. Publish. Gee. Publish. Uh, I had a feeling you'd say that. Try that again. Publish. Yeah, p and a b. Remember, the p is no voice, right? P, p, p. And the b is the same thing, but it's with voice. B, p, b, p. So, pub, pub, publish. 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 Try again, Matt. Publish. Publish. Nishka? Publish. Oh, my God. I see your face. I'm going to be contaminated. <laughs> Chisong. Publish. 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 One more time. Publish. Where is it when you enter a computer? computer? What is it? Neutral. Uh, virtual what? Virtual. virtual what? Virtual work. Yeah, virtual world, Matt. Uh, publish, publish. That was that was you, wasn't it, Matt? So you you've got four now. No, we only what? have seven words. So that's three, four, three for Nishka over Matt. Yeah, they call these a virtual world. The virtual is the um, is the adjective here. Um, it's kind of like that meta that the Microsoft has has created the metaverse. But um, even if you you're playing, you know, um, oh, what was the name of that video game we started playing for a while? Free Fire and and um, Pub PUBG, all these other games where you go into the fact that you're going into an environment that is not real, that is computer generated. That area, that domain, that place, that is, in reality, a virtual world. Whether you actually go into it with glasses or you just go and play in it, it's still a different world. It's not the real world, but it's called a virtual world. So that's a hard one to roll. You've got tool, ch -ch tool, virtual, and of course, world. Is always difficult. W E R sound, were, were, world with the L and then drop a little D. Virtual world, Matt. Virtual world. Ah. Virtual world. Virtual. Don't forget, there's three, the three syllables. Virtual. Virtual. Virtual world. <laughs> Take it nice and slow. Virtual, number one. Virtual. Tool, tool, tool. Virtual. Virtual. World. You really got to roll with that one. World. 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 With a little D. World. 
work. And then when you actually get used to it, it's not that bad because your L, your tongue goes to the top of your mouth anyway, right? Whirl, la, 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 la. And then it's easy to take that L and turn it into a D because it's already in the right place. World. Tree song. Virtual. Virtual. Chewel. Chewel. Virtual. Virtual. Chew. Just like chewing bubble gum. Chew. Chew, 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 chew. 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 And then when you go to the ooh, you're going to go virtual. 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 Oh, the last sound is L. Virtual. Virtual. Oh, virtual. And here you got to get that old, old world, world. Virtual. Were. W E R E. We were here. Were. Were, were, were. Virtual world. No, I did not say virtual and world. I said were. Were. We were here. Were. Were. Okay, now put an L on were. Whirl. And whirl also means to spin around, right? To whirl around, but it's spelt differently. All right, so we get whirl. Once we get to the L, let's drop a little D. D, D, D. World. World. Yeah, world. Virtual. <laughs> the stress is on ver. Virtual world. Virtual world. And not word. World. 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 Chi, give it a shot. Virtual world. Virtual world. I didn't hear the L. Virtual world. Virtual world. Yeah. When you say world, the L is stronger than the D. Because remember, the D is the last sound. So that's the one that drops. A world. I, I hear L as much as I hear W and I hear er. World, 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 world. Because if you make the D stronger than the L, it sounds like you're saying word, word, virtual word. That's what it sounds like. So the L has to be stronger than the D. World, world, world. virtual world. Good. Okay. Who's next? Nishka? Virtual world. Virtual world. Yeah, good. Oh my God, did you kill it? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? Virtual world. There we are. Okay. All right. This is kind of something you would say to uh, an old friend. Yeah, you know, they're moving away or they got a new job or they're going off to university or what would you what would you tell someone if you want to make sure that you want to maintain contact with someone but things will be different now so you'll have to text and email you now i've experienced that a lot working in uh, in asia over 20, well in the middle nearly 20 years now what year is this is 1922 yeah keep contact keep contact or keep there's another one Keep keep connect correspondence. <laughs> no, this is a little more uh, slang, a little bit more casual, not 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 too official. Keep connection <laughs> close. Keep, uh... Hitting someone in the head. In touch. In touch. Yeah. Who said that? Matt. Matt. <laughs> Keep in touch. <laughs> four, four. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. Yeah. Forget to keep in touch. But you're right. Keep contact. Keep correspondence. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> you'd probably say that to a business colleague or someone that you're dealing with with your blogs. I still have your blog open right here, right here, right here, right here on my screen. Right, 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 right here. And I still have not sat down and actually read it yet. I feel so guilty. It's okay. There. Everybody see this? My blog, Nishka, with a little baby tiger. <laughs> in Grugayon, Haryana, India. Did I say that right? You were right? close. You were close. <laughs> Productive things to do during the summer breaks as a useful guide. Maybe we should use this for our reading tonight. Huh. So you guys should all check out her blog. She writes a blog on the internet every day. That's good habits. She's going to be a great writer when she grows up. She's already a very good writer. And she's only what? 10? 11. 11 now. Unbelievable. Good practice. This is going to serve you very well in the future. Thank you. Thank you. I promise you that. I think it should be something that kids have to do at school every day. It should be like one of the main lessons. Writing about any topic at all. But we should be doing it. My father says the same thing. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, people don't understand how powerful writing is because writing wires your brain to connect information and even to be able to think and speak more effectively, more articulately. And it, it's, it's, it's just not pushed enough in schools. It, it is, it is terrible. You, you, you shouldn't even be able to get out of grade five until you can write an essay. Yeah. In touch. It is so powerful. Mm, yeah, okay, this is an adjective. Not certain. Uncertainty? Well, that would make sense, uncertainty. But I already said certain, so I'm certainly not, I'm certainly not going to use uncertainly in the word when I put certain in the definition. <laughs> so it's going to be a synonym. Having doubts. Very mm, about this situation. He has been mm, of himself ever since he failed to get that job. He's lost confidence now. He's very questioning, confused, confused, questioning, confused, mm. confused. Good guesses, but no. Gosh. It's more like not having confidence. Doubting your abilities. And it starts with un. It is a UN prefix. Unhappy. <laughs> no, that's that's it. normal. We have that every day if I don't have pizza. <laughs> what do you think, Chi Sung? What is it? I am. <clears throat> That I can make this football. Unsure. Yeah, that's exactly what. Oh my god. Unsure. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Unsure. Oh my god. Who's your god? <laughs> I'm not your god. Nishka's your god. <laughs> yeah. Unsure. Okay, so that's nine words, nine answers, five for Nishka, four for Matt. Zero for Chi and zero for Chi Sung. What the hell is going on here? I don't see Adam and who who that, who, who that little monster? Jill. I don't see either one of them here. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. Yeah. We no, say chauffeur. 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 Well, that's a French word, right? And in, in, in French, it would be chauffeur. Uh, they have a different, a lot of EUs in French. That was just a silly guess. I didn't know it was actually going to be correct. 
No, that's the word they use for like professional chauffeurs, right? They usually drive the limos for the rich. And then, and then you have um, limousine services too. But I don't think, I think if you, let's say I bought some limousines and I, and I, I provide the service for people flying in on their private jets for the rich and they, they rent or rent my, sh- my limousines because they're in a foreign country or city. I still think that the people driving the chauffeur, uh, driving the limousines, even though they have a suit and look like this, I think they're still considered a driver because they're hired for a short term. But if it's in your hometown and you have a mansion and you have a driver that works full time for you, then that position, that job is called being a chauffeur, not just a driver. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. A chauffeur is how they pronounce it. Chauffeur. 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 Yeah. And it's a pretty cool job to have if you can get it. You know, you don't have to work very hard. And drive around fancy cars and meet fancy people all the time. And a lot of and usually get paid pretty good. But usually chauffeurs, people who do do that job, um, are usually people that, you know, have like military experience or police services before so that they offer more than just a driver you know like they're 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 probably um have special skills right so then usually part of the security detail for the rich people so it's not just a taxi driver can go drive a limousine for some rich family you know for bill gates or something there would be a few more requirements for the proper chauffeur Oh, a door. So that is six four for Nishka. Yes. Uh-huh. All right. So this is not a good. You could definitely get in a lot of trouble, especially if a shark shows up. Help! And you get home and you have an eviction notice. This is not a good. Situation. Situation. Was that Chi? Yes. Chi foreheads is on the board. Yeehaw. Look at my hands. Oh my God. Go wash your hands. They're all dirty. <laughs> it's not dirty. No, it's, it's not dirty. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You call yes. mud on your hands beautiful? It's not mud. What is it? Looks like mud from here. It's Mandy. <laughs> it's all the designs. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. But we can't really see a good picture. Yeah, I, I'll send you one someday because I clicked them when uh, it was not coming off. Because like right now, you can see it's actually coming off my hands. Did you do it yourself? No, my mother's friend did it. Oh. And then this one. Oh, so now you can tell people, to, hey, look at my finger. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> I, get, I get in big trouble for that one. Cut! We'll delete that when we edit this video. <laughs> Why would you do it on that fingers? How are you gonna show you? How are you gonna show people now? I just show them like, them this, like this. I show <laughs> them like this. Okay, that's a good idea. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Trevor, you're so bad. Mr. Trevor, big kids. <laughs> that's what happens when you hang around with kids too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Next. <laughs> Not a good situation. Ah. Quality. Yeah, exactly. Quality. Quick Nishka today. That gives Nishka. Uh, who got situation? Uh, I think that was Chi. Yeah, right. She. Okay. It got me confused. <laughs> so this was Nishka. I mean, yeah, Nishka. Okay. Yeah, the quality of things, right? I mean, if you're going to get some real quality beef and you're going to go home and put some fresh herbs and spices and nothing processed and you make a nice hamburger steak and you're going to make some nice buns, that's a healthy hamburger. Yeah. But if you're going to go buy it at uh, McDonald's or Burger King or 
or you know KFC or something. Well, yeah, you don't want to do that. Mr. Chairman, I have something to tell you. Uh oh. Okay, so you know that I have exams going on right now, right? I yeah. told you in the starting. That you're giving your teachers exams, yes. <laughs> so uh, I had an English test and I topped in my uh, section. So in the whole seventh grade, I was the topper in English. You were the top grade in English? Yes, I had the, I had the most marks in English. So my grandmother got uh, very excited about that and ordered me a big bucket of ice cream. And now, I have, this, and now I have this much ice cream. It's bigger than my face. <laughs> it's too bad you can't share it with us. But, 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 but you do something so good and all they do is buy you poison? <laughs> is it homemade ice cream or is it processed ice cream? And my mother made it. Oh, okay. Well, then it's good. I've had but some. I, I can't have it right now because I'm sick. My mother won't let me touch it. Really? That's funny. When, I, when, when kids are sick in the hospital, that's usually the only thing they, they feed them is ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think over here in India, until and unless like, you don't have like um, mouth surgery or something like that, you won't be getting ice cream. Uh, okay. I mean, you would be getting ice cream, but like, not if like you're sick, then you won't be getting ice cream. I'm, so I have like a, I have a cough and I have sore throat. I have a fever. I have a runny nose, so I cannot have ice cream right now. Okay. Actually, yeah, there's a couple of YouTubers uh, Lay has been listening to that I thought are really interested. Teenage boy. He's already finished university and really, really smart. I can't remember his name. Maybe Miss Lay can uh, share that with us. At uh, break time or when she does. Oh, no, she doesn't do the sentence challenge. Miss Lay, are you there? Yes, I'm here. What's the name of that uh, Indian boy and family that all live naturally and have the YouTube channel? Anand. Is it Anand Mishka? Sorry? Like, like a breeding chair, yeah? Anand. 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 Can you write yeah, it down? I think in it's Anand. Anand. Yeah, and then the boys that usually just predict the uh, things that happen about different area, different fields. But is it just a teenager and he already finished university or something, right? It's like a doctor or something. Can you but take I this? Have not, I have not heard of it. Oh, right I, 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 can, I can send the link. Okay. Yeah. I'll, sh I'll share it with them just to give them something different here. But... Um, they talk about that, that all their food is all grown on their property and everything too, and, and everything they eat is natural. Yeah, uh, yeah. Over here in like some Indians, they just like grow food on the farms, and then some actually sell it, and then some use it for house for their house, or some use it for the boat. Exactly. Well, we have to. We 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 really, and that's something I think needs to be in school now too, is basic farming skills. Um, people should know how to grow some of their vegetables and fruits and different things because we're becoming so dependent on, you know, the, the stores and, and the corporations that are controlling all our food now. And it's just not healthy food. It's not healthy yeah. food. And, 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 and I, I personally, we've already started growing some, some stuff on the roof. And, uh, I told, cause you know, you realize that if, if the, if the supermarket shut down, you know how many people would starve? They don't know how to grow food. We're completely dependent on these companies. Well, over here at my house, actually, we also grew a lot of things. Um, we grew some lady fingers. We grew some lemons. Uh, we also grew. I think we also uh, grew some onions. If I'm if I'm not wrong. Yeah. No, we really need to learn that. I really, I'm, I'm really an advocate. Because like for... both of my parents are really, they, they really like uh, growing stuff, especially my mother. Let's put it in here for a second so I can share it with you guys. Yeah. Lay's listened to him a lot, but he, he seems really clever and he's from India. 1.13 million subscribers already. Okay, so I'll share this with you for a second. And then you guys can 
check it out if you're interested yourself. And if not, then you won't. Up to you. <laughs> Uh, where is he here? Number three, number three monitor. All right, here we go. This guy. Is that him? Yeah, that must be him. But you know him, Mr. Is that no. him there? Have you, ever, have you ever heard about him? No, I'm not sure. no, no. Yeah, yeah. This that guy. Con, con science? And you see the video, I think it's a few hundred, right? They, may, uh, they um, started the channel quite a... Uh, um, how many videos? Oh, how many videos? Um, oh God, I don't know. Where we see that? Okay, so his name is Abhi Abhigya. Yeah, of course, it's very hard for me to pronounce. That's why I just call the other and then something. Yeah, like and quite a famous because many many Indian names are actually hard to pronounce. So even I struggle sometimes. <laughs> Abhigya. Abhigya, is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, Abhigya. Abhigya. Abhigya, okay. Abhigya. Yeah, it's quite interesting, quite interesting because it's like a very knowledgeable and um, <laughs> especially his vision during COVID and before COVID and things kind of a lot of things came true. That's why. And of course, I had my school homeschooling. Yeah. And he's yeah, and they're all homeschooling too. That's right. Yeah, no, it's something if you guys are, it's worth checking out anyway. But Nishka, you made me think of it for sure, because you you might like to listen to some of the things he says. Yeah, okay, now you know. Quality, yeah, it's about how good something is, right? Good or bad. Um, and quality of the work, you know, like we just had some stickers, big, big poster stickers put up on our front doors at the at the center here. Um, because it's a glass door, so we, we put the logos inside, English with Lay, English with Trevor, one on each door, New Way English on the top, both doors. Uh, join us on YouTube on the bottom and, and um, the phone number for the main office here. And, uh, but of course, you know, we, the, the shop that made these big stickers for us, they messed it up and the new way is wrong and there's a part wrong in my logo and this, you know, and it, it, bad quality work, right? And sometimes it's frustrating. You get plumbers and carpenters or people working on your car and they don't do a good job, you know, good quality, bad quality. It's very frustrating. And sometimes they're really crooked. You know, a lot of times people will do bad jobs on purpose with cheap materials just because they trying to rip you off. You know, it's really, you got to be very, very careful. Very, very careful. Quality now. So that's seven points. So this one, oh, the real thing. That's what we're looking for here. The real deal. It's not fake. These shoes are bound in, bound means like put together, sewed together in <clears throat> leather. She has a <clears throat> smile. This is not a copy or a print. This is a real Pierre Brugel, Brugel's drawing. Authentic. Authentic is the real thing, but authentic. Mm, I don't think we would use it for authentic shoes. Authentic smile, perhaps. Authentic painting. That's like, hmm. That's a really good guess, but I wonder what the difference between that would be. So let's check. The difference between authentic, there must be a, a slight difference, but very interchangeable versus this word. This one specifically we use for leather. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> what was it? What, what did you do? The word just popped up. Uh, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I wasn't joking? I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. <laughs> the word authentic refers to how you are... How you... Rational? No, rational is to be like using common sense. Don't overreact. Maybe be smart about it. Don't don't 
don't make your decision on on your feelings be rational and rational is also about not spending too much like to ration something the word authentic refers to how you are being yourself oh to be the real you yeah not be fake that's true legitimate no legitimate is to be legitimate how would you describe that well yeah the, the real thing that's just another synonym for sure the legitimate son <laughs> the legitimate daughter it is a reference to self expression that is how you express yourself reflects how you really are inside who you how you really are inside what would you think feeling perceived genuine yeah the term being genuine or genuine some people say genuine some people say <laughs> genuine is more about how to, how to relate to other people all right so to be genuine to be honest to someone in a, in a characteristic sense here considered to authentic refers to how you are being yourself i'm being authentic about showing my true identity and i'm being genuine to you when i'm relating <laughs> this to you so the word was genuine genuine yeah <laughs> you got it why are you on the tv you on the big screen now <laughs> excuse me that is not nice <laughs> what that you're on the big tv i said you're making me sick this is not this is not a tv this is a this is a a, a Mirror. photo frame a photo frame with a chair yes. it is right next to the chair but you're moving in the photo <laughs> what is this a haunted house <laughs> what does it mean to be genuine or real actual real or true genuine genuine leather real leather real smile real is the best definition to uh for genuine to me authentic is much deeper in my opinion all right realize uh-huh it's But not realize it's realize okay i think matt said it too didn't you yeah yeah matt said it before you nishka but you couldn't hear his voice Well, I just said, Matt, you said it too, didn't you? Then if I how could I say that if I didn't hear him? Yeah. It was very blurry. It was like no <laughs> no. Yeah. Realize. Realize. Oh, well, it's okay. I'm not going to make a fuss. <laughs> You're too sick to make a fuss. Hmm. I'm too mature to make a fuss. What are you doing, Chi? You still with us or did we put you to sleep? What's going on? <clears throat> Tears bored today. I'm I'm here. Aren't you? Is this boring when we're having conversation like this, Chi? No, my my brother and my cousin screaming too much that I have <laughs> to tell them. Your brother's driving you crazy. What about you, Chi Sung? Are you enjoying the class in the conversation, or is it boring? Are you watching YouTube? I'm watching YouTube. It's on the other tab. Unbelievable. What do you think, Tree Song? You haven't said a word. This is English class, yeah, not sleepy silence class. Okay, everybody, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not sleepy. Somebody ah. do you think? This is a big word. I oh, don't God. think you're gonna get it. It has a couple of meanings here. Um, it's an adjective, but. Easily change into new shapes, right? Like tin and and many metals, lead, aluminum. You can mold it into other other forms, right? Clay, of course, you can change it into anything. But it's also with you know naive people or young people, right? Easily influenced, trained, or control people as well. The word is used in that context too. I'm sure it's the first time you see this word, and I'll give you five seconds. Impressionable. Impressionable is to make an impression on someone, whether they like you or don't like you. 
Moldable. <laughs> Moldable? Close, but no. Easy to mold. <laughs> no. One word, <laughs> not a sentence. <laughs> or a statement or a phrase. One word. Low melting point metals that are often a lot together. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> That's what I have to say to that. <laughs> Two. Oh, God. <laughs> no, not God. One. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Jeva gets the point. Malleable. Malleable means to be able to form or shape it <laughs> to your liking or the what you want to do with it. Malleable. I did not <laughs> Malleable. Yeah, well, since you're 31, you guys are going to start getting a lot harder vocabs now because oh, we got to. Now we've got to start building that vocab, not just pronunciation. Genuine. genuine, genuine, genuine. Yeah, malleable. Can I have a question? Yes. So we spent a lot of time, or we have spent a lot of time trying to um, send the vocab and uh, make the link and everything like Aniska's father's suggestion. So any student really go to the group and then copy the vocabulary and learn yeah. after the lesson. Hmm. That's my question. Oh, so Niska. So it's, it's worth our... See Niska's dirty hands. Book. Okay, so that's good. It's not good. <laughs> one is better, one's better than uh, no one. Now, this is different, right? Audience... You know, you're watching a live show or a fans. TV. Fans. Well, they are probably fans. But there's a word for people who sit out in the stadiums. Could be an indoor arena, too. But watching sports or activities. Fans would be... A would... spectator. A what? A spectator. <laughs> yeah, they call these spectators. A spectator, but usually more than one spectator. Spectators. That's correct. Now, the thing with this is that. What was I going to say? Yeah, when you said fans, fans is usually going to be. I mean, you can, especially like I know they say that at, at NASCAR race car competitions, they'll say, oh, many fans are out today because they all have a favorite, right? And you could say that for a football game or something, too, because obviously they're cheering for one of their teams. But they're called spectators. When would we actually use fans and not spectators on an outdoor live event? Would usually be when it's a band at a concert. Yeah, then, then you'd call them fans because they're all there to see that singer or that band. Then we'd call it a band for sure. Uh, fans for sure. Yeah, I would go watch professional sports, but I would I don't doesn't mean I'm a big fan of either team. You know, that's why they call that a spectator. That different from an audience, but they're all the same. They just kind of classify them a little different. Viewer, viewer. Viewers, viewer? that's right. The people who are watching TV. It's not at the location or live. These are viewers. You view television programs. You're not part of the audience. The audience must be live. A live audience. Even if it is a live broadcast, if you're watching it from your TV or your handphone or your YouTube feed, you are a viewer. Even if you're watching sports, if it's on TV, you're a viewer. You must be at the stadium to be spectator. No, give me back what? my PlayStation. Oh. Hab what? Yeah, it's like habit. Oh, what the, 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 how did that happen? I didn't click that many times. I must have, but hmm. sheesh. Habitual. Oh, Mr. Jeffrey, habitual. Habitual is correct. Usual or repeated, right? Habit is different. 
Well, what's that, Trevor? What? What? What's that, Trevor? What's what? The music. Sorry, sorry, unmute. <laughs> wow. Oh, I was muted. Who, who muted me? What the what sorry, the what? I, I thought the music is from your computer. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Unbelievable. Um. Okay, habit. Is something you do regularly, of course. Um, but I mean, a habit could be something you do once a year, right? You know, it's not something that is habitual. Habitual is something that is usual or repeated, right? Something that is, if you play video games every day, then video get your, how would you say that? Video games are habitual. No, that doesn't sound right. Habitual means you do it a lot, like smoking cigarettes. You know, if you have a cigarette only when you go out with friends and you have a drink on Saturday night. Okay, well, you know, you could say you're a smoker, but you're not a habitual smoker. You know what I mean? You're just kind of a social smoker, which, of course, is always bad because cigarettes are extremely addictive. So it can start from just one or two on the weekend, and then all of a sudden you're one or two packs a week. It's, um, it's very, very bad, but habitual. He built up his saving by being very habitual. Why isn't this sounding right? Something I'm missing something here. Habitual. Habitual is something that you do regularly over and over, right? Done or doing consistently. Yeah. So it's more... Well, no, or as a habit. So it's not about it's not about how much you do it. It's just about consistently doing something be, is habitual. Hey, this pattern of behavior has become habitual. Okay, so I guess what I was trying to say was, if you only go running once every week, I wouldn't say it's an habitual activity or exercise that you do. But if you go running every morning, then I would say your jogging, your running is habitual. It's very consistent. That's how I would describe habitual and habit. You know, yeah, repeat it regularly. Uh, here's a new word too. And like I said, I'm going to start introducing you to a, a lot of new words, much more difficult and not from the reading itself. But this is someone who polishes jewelry. Right? Someone whose job is cutting and polishing stones, especially pre precious stones. And it's not a jeweler. You know, a jeweler does polish and cut probably, but they usually own a shop and they're selling it. But there's a specific name for this. Lapidary. That's right, a lapidary. Be a cool job. Yeah. Just cutting fine stones every day and polishing them up and making beautiful jewelry. I had a friend of mine who lived. Uh, she was uh, Australian or English. I can't remember now where, what her nationality was. She was a teacher as well. But she was married to an Indonesian man. Uh, and they had a, they had a child. So she lived there. She had, a, she had her Indonesian citizenship. And that's what the side business was at home. She, she taught in the same school I taught, one of the schools I taught at. But, and I visited her house a couple of times. And that's what they had at home. They had, they had built a, a shop inside uh, their house. And her and her husband, that's, that's what they did on the side. They made jewelry and sold it to the shops. So they would they would find they would buy they would shop for around for deals on different gems and rocks, and then they would make the rings and 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 yeah that they, they were they were making jewelry necklaces bracelets all kinds of stuff. Mm, it's okay. So it was quite interesting. Yeah, they made some really nice things. I don't know how much money they made doing that, but it's cool. Lapidary. I think that's how you say that. Let's see if I got the right pronunciation. Lap. Lapidary. Uh, lapidary? Lapidary? Let's see. Mm. Lapidary. 
Let's see if I said that right. Lapidary. 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 A lapidary. What do you do? I'm a lapidary. <laughs> and, I, and I think what happens is that most people who are lapidaries, I'm guessing they probably uh, don't even say they're lapidaries. They probably just say they're jewelers. That's my guess. Because actually, I, I never heard of a lapidary. I don't even know where I found the word. It must have been something I was listening to on. I'll often listen to um, university. Um, what do they say that when they do when, when the professors give speeches on different topics? <laughs> the word slipping my mind. Um, yeah, anyway, listening to other speakers, and, and I must have heard it there, because often I'll hear a word, and I'm thinking, oh, I haven't heard that word in a long time, or I even need to check it myself. And then I, I add it to our vocab lists. Lapidary. Lapidary. Okay. Last word. Boom. Harmless. What's a fancy word for being Harmless. Totally harmless. You have nothing to worry about. Often use like his actions. You know, you might think there's something sneaky about it, but then someone will tell you, no, 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 no. It's completely harmless. Don't worry. Heartless. Heartless? <laughs> Heartless. Uh, heartless. Heartless. Yeah, write it down in the chat box for me. Safe. <laughs> safe. Well, it is safe. Reliable. Reliable. Something you can count on. <sighs> uh, exactly. <laughs> Innocent. Innocent means you never killed anybody. <laughs> Inoffensive. Or you never or you never stole any cookies from Trevor's cookie jar. Naive. Naive means you believe anything I say. I'm black and you believe me. Disarmed. Disarmed means you took my gun away. <laughs> uh kind. Kind just means I'm nice. <laughs> I could be kind and still be an evil man. Undamaged. Undamaged means I have no leg luggage to carry around. <laughs> <laughs> Who could say that? Liability. <laughs> Disability. <laughs> oh, what? Innocuous. I, I, oh, no. I got it wrong. Now. Inno innocuous. 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 Innocuous means harmless. Oh, don't worry about what. No, that that's completely innocuous. Innocuous. Another good word to learn and put in your arsenal of your weaponry of vocabulary. You use that with your English teacher someday and be like, say what? And then the teacher mm -hmm. has to go check it up themselves. <laughs> Bonus points. If you don't make the teacher angry. <laughs> I remember one student. Oh, it was not smart. He was, I'm not going to say names because he, of course, he was a student at New Way before. And uh, he argued with his teacher <laughs> about some words in class because he, he could speak really well, of course. And he spoke so much better than his English teacher at school. This happened to me in Indonesia too. And he said, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You have to say it like this. And the teacher was saying, no, you're wrong. Said, Trevor told me this is how you do it. <laughs> and then the, the kid got in trouble for arguing with his teacher, correcting his teacher. But he was right. The teacher was wrong. But the teacher didn't like that the student was correcting the teacher. <laughs> but so, yes, that's my point. You guys are all becoming very good English speakers. Um, and in many, in many ways, already very good English speakers and probably have better English than many of the English teachers in your country. But don't tell them that. They don't like that. <laughs> it's not a good idea. It is so fun correcting my father or even his boss 
like for their english it's so fun like whenever they like uh do a mistake it's so fun at correcting them like their faces <laughs> though it is yeah and they get some people get annoyed by that it's okay when you do it to family and friends because then you can just smile say yeah why don't you just help yeah but yeah but i do it with my father and my and my father's boss <laughs> i thought your father worked <laughs> for himself yeah but now he got a job and oh, he worked for too. himself so he does both oh, okay yeah yeah but when you do it to your teachers sometimes they don't like it too much <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's a little different with the teachers. So be careful with that. Try not Mr. to. Mr. Trevor, what's the result? The result is nine points for Nishka, five points for Matt, and two for Chi. <laughs> and not even a hello from Trisang. Hello, Trisang. Good morning, Trisang. Big smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm happy today. You're sick. You're not allowed to be happy. Go back to being Whoa. cranky and grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take a break. I'll see you guys soon. This is interesting. Break time. Break time.